Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my series on new indie patterns. This is where I do my very best to find all of the indie patterns that were released within a month. And we're going to take a look at them and kind of see what indie pattern designers are doing. This is September's new indie pattern roundup. These are all the new patterns that I found. So let's start at the beginning with the designer stitch Tolly blouse. This is, let's see, US sizes, well, it's $15, US sizes two through 26, cup sizes A through double D, advanced beginner, all about effortless style featuring a front intertwined twist the tally blouse is the epitome of on-trend styling. That's all we're going to get for a description. Oh, no. Okay. The ultimate essential wardrobe edition. Design. Okay. Clever. Okay. Okay. Adding to this chic design are sleeve options. Bishop sleeve with a button cuff or standard shirt sleeve shape with a traditional buttoning cuff. Also a three-quarter length tapered sleeve. Add in the softly curved face hem, the tally, okay, high end styling again. Okay, bishop sleeve, traditional sleeve, three quarter length tapered sleeve. Spread two piece shirt collar, V neck, twist detailing, twist detailing, relaxed waist, very advanced and experienced beginners. Do too. Oh, I like that. I like the do too. Working with light and slippery fabrics, detailed sewing tasks like the shirt placket, cuffs, and front bands, and a two piece collar. I love that because if you are, you know, that term beginner, advanced beginner, it's sort of relative, right? But if you look through these and you're like, you know what? I've done those before. Or if you look at them and you're like, I think I could achieve that, then you know you're, you feel confident enough to, to take it on. Um, whereas if you're like, oh my gosh, I've never worked with anything other than cotton before, you know, and maybe this one isn't right for you. But here are the line drawings. So it is a blouse, has a bust dart, it has an empire waist seam. That's where the twist deal detail comes in. Faced front, two-piece collar. These are the three sleeves. And it has fisheye darts in the back with a back yoke. So shaping, tailoring has got to be on point with this. And then these are just more, they're just generic details. Okay, let's see it on some people. What I'm getting from this is very much a elevated take on a traditional, seem like, you know, a, a button front, button down top is very traditional, but they just took the center front and twisted it up. And now you have this really cute little detail. That's kind of fun. I'm guessing these are the bishop sleeves. They do look a little long. The bishop is completely collapsing. You can't even really tell that there's any volume there because it's just falling completely. Um, but the waist seam looks good. The length is at the high hip. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think I might, I don't know. Do I want that waist seam to be a little bit higher and then add length down here? I can't tell. That's a three quarter sleeve too. It feels to me like there's, there's a lot of length here and not a lot of length here. And so the proportions are feeling a little bit funky, but I get that wherever the seam is, that's where the knot goes. So do you want your knot like right at your underbust? I don't know. That might be something for you to kind of play around with. I want to see it in like a linen or something. Where, where are the linen people? Oh, they recommend the slippery fabrics. I don't think it has to be slippery fabrics at all. I think you could totally do it out of something a little bit more, um, or I guess less slippery, but still loosely woven, lightweight, you know, maybe a little bit of drape in there, maybe a linen blend. I do think it's really cute. I do like it a lot, actually. 
yeah, I guess the, the drapier fabrics are supposed to help with um, this little knot thing, but even this one's not super thin or super drapey. There's still quite a bit of structure you can see from the wrinkles here, and her little knotty thing looks good. That's probably shirting fabric. And honestly, the more like more like messy it is, the more attention it draws, which is the whole point. Like, look at my shirt and its unique detail. You don't want it to kind of blend in and fade to nothing. Yeah, my only comment on like fit and all of that. And now remember you guys, when you go to leave your comments, these people are not models, okay? These people are not even professional seamstresses. They are the testers for this pattern. So give them some grace, okay? But I do want to I I do like to look at them kind of generally across the board to see consistently is there a fitting issue. My first one is the length of the bodice, my second one is the length of the shoulder. It's this one, this one might be just a size too big for her. But when I'm looking at these others, well, she has her arm up. It's hard to tell when people have their arm up. See how long <clears throat> how long the shoulder is that sleeve is supposed to be up on your shoulder a little bit. She probably did that to accommodate for her bust when really she should size down, fit her shoulder, and then do a full bust adjustment. Although they have those cup sizes. So maybe she just did the wrong size with the right cup. Yeah, so I just want to pull all these sleeves up just a little bit. Just a little bit onto the shoulder a little bit more. Then I think too that'll help with the length of the sleeve issue that some people are having especially with that bishop sleeve that's just so big and heavy and the cuff is so long on that too. So, yeah. Okay, cute designer stitch. This is the Ella Harp Zero Waist Bustle Skirt. It is just what it seems, zero waist fabric. So it's cut in a way that you, you use up all the fabric that is required. Um, it is, let's see, one cut, less than 10 seams, great fabric preserver of sorts, being easily picked apart without any damage to your yardage. Okay, designed at a high waist, A-line, maxi, or calf length. And it could be made even shorter than that with a V-shaped back waistband. Easily suited to long, heavy fall skirts as midi, lightweight summer skirts especially lovely in linen, fits size 22 to 56 inch waists, beginner, zero paper waist. So it's not zero fabric waist, it's only zero paper waist. No need to print or tape, written instructions are supplemented by a full construction video linked in the PDF. I thought zero waist meant zero fabric waist. The pictures are cool, right? Like very moody. Oh, they don't get any bigger than this. Okay, so I'm just trying to see like a line in the front, very plain. And then in the back, it just ties up into a bow. That feels not super secure, if I'm being honest. I wouldn't trust myself with that because if it comes untied in the back, do you, are you, you just end up naked, right? Like, okay. It does feel a little bit like romantic, dreamy. Obviously that bustle really, I mean, the bustling began back in what, the early 1900s, maybe even before that. That would look super cool in that drapey linen. It kind of almost looks like a a pant in a way. No doubt it's comfortable. I just don't know about wearing it in my life. Wait, sheet music? Wow, there's like, oh, Ella Harp, duh. Wow, really didn't think that one through. Okay, so it is eight bucks. Yeah, really not much to say about it. The idea of zero waste, I think, is really cool. That pattern, I feel like, Feels a little bit like you just wrapped a sheet around you. Okay, this is Chalk and Notch's new pattern. They actually had two in September. This is the Shea pattern. Um, it's a maxi dress with a wide scoop neck and fitted bodice. The skirt has three gathered tiers, um, elbow length puff sleeves, or a tank options for both views. View A finishes with a center back invisible zipper. 
View B finishes with center front buttons. Zero to 30, four bus cup options. Okay. Here are our line drawings. So we have a, you know, this is where a fitting comes in. This is the equivalent of having waist darts and bus darts, but they're just turned into this like princess seamy looking thing. Scoop neck, gathered sleeve into more gathers, I guess. Gathers, gathers, gathers. And this is the center back zip version, sleeved or sleeveless. And this is the button front version. Recommended fabrics, rayon chalet, rayon twill, rayon voile, cotton lawn, cotton wall, linen, chambray. Yeah, so anything from like a lightweight fabric, light to, I would say very light to lightweight fabrics. Pretty mm, drapey, drapey to light drape. Linen, chambray, you know, nothing too stiff for the gathers. If it gathers well in your hand, like if you scrunch it up and it looks good, it'll be good to go. So a zipper or buttons and then um, fusible interfacing. All right. They say light to medium weight woven. Medium weight woven to me means a little bit more like corduroy. But maybe there's, I don't know, maybe I'm being over picky because it's fall time right now. Either way. All right, let's look. There's a ton of pictures. So let's look through them. Oh boy. So here's, is it bigger? Oh, that's all the bigness it gets. That feels like corduroy right there, maybe. They dressed it up. I'm not getting dressy vibes from this at all. Yeah, I'm getting very much more low key. Oh, I love the unbuttoned. That's real cute. Yep, sleeveless or sleeved. So you can obviously also take the sleeve and make many different adjustments to that as well. You could have a long sleeve, you could have a short sleeve, you could take the gathers out, you could do things to the hem, like all kinds of things there. Yeah, once again, another dressy version. So they put the Short sleeve ones in a more casual fabric. This looks like linen to me. It's beautiful. This looks a little bit long on her. Right? Doesn't the um, bodice look like it's going past her hip, or I mean, sorry, her waistline? So is this one, her waistline's up here. All right, so double check your waistline. I think the higher up your bust cup goes, the shorter your waistline should be generally. That's not for everybody, but this one in the little cotton is pretty. Yeah, I was picturing more like prairie vibes. I was picturing more like some kind of fabric. I do like the pin tucked sleeve though. Some kind of fabric that was way lighter weight than what they're using. Yeah, this is not, it's not meant to be a drop waist. So all of these bodices are too long. I do like the button front version though, like a lot. And the sleeve is super cool. Yeah, I just really wasn't picturing it in this, this heavyweight fabric. That's heavyweight to me for garment sewing. You know what I mean? I would have done something much lighter weight. Maybe one of the rayons or a linen blend or a rayon twill or I don't know, something just way lighter weight. I'd put it with sneakers, maybe even like shorten this a little bit so it's not ankle length. But yeah, you do get one dress with many options because you could even just like remove both of these and have a top. You could take the them out and lengthen this top layer to have, or top ruffle to have just a long skirt. This is one of those patterns that you could buy this one and make a bunch of different garments from it. Like a bunch. So I do love that. This is their other pattern from September, the Isle Jeans. High-waisted, stretched denim jean. 
um, six darts and finished with a waistband facing. Okay. View A is fitted to just past the knee with a flare leg. View B is fitted through the upper thips and released through the thigh with a wide leg. Both include front and back patch pockets. Okay. The waistband facing part means there's no separate waistband piece, right? It's done like a facing, turned under, and then this is top stitching. And then you have the cute little front and back patch pockets. Well, that's front, or they're both fronts. Where's the back? No back line drawing. Okay, let's look at them on somebody. High-waisted, that's for sure. Um, that might be the flare. I think this is the flare and this is the straight maybe. Okay, that's unhelpful. Here we go. A straight on view, no hands in pockets, thank you. I wanna say this is the easier version, not by much, but a slightly easier version of jeans than some of the other indie jean patterns we have. Removing the slash pocket or the whatever kind of pocket they jeans usually have is easier. Not having the waistband is easier, also easier for fitting. Um, you really only have to contend with the fly zip and then the rest of it is just like sewing up leggings. Oh, here's the back. Yeah. Pocket placement looks really good. The fit looks really good. The stretch denim obviously is going to help. The more stretchy, the better. There's a, just the slightest little thing happening here. That's just so specific to the model. I'm not going to harp on it, but um, the only thing that I would have done differently is move the pockets in maybe half an inch toward the center. That's it. The rest of it looks really good. Like you need all of this down here to be able to sit down. And here you can, well, you can't really see, but it's definitely not a separate facing piece. This is just top stitched. You can tell too, because the belt loops are also top stitched on the bottom. That must be the straight leg. I would definitely give these a go. Oh, here it is in stretch corduroy or something. That's cute. These little whiskers here. Yes, that is definitely a fit issue. Um, they might be just a little bit too small. Right through her low hip. But the side seam looks decent. I mean, it is curving a little bit. Yeah, the flare leg is cute. Yeah, I haven't tried like a jean pant in a long time. Yeah, the six darts too. That's got to be really helpful. All these dark denims, it's really hard to see any designs. Now, they did say that this straight leg was supposed to be fitted through the thigh. Hers is obviously a little bit more loose. You can you can do that to your jeans. All that has to fit on jeans, circumference-wise, is the waist. The rest of it can be whatever. All right. Cute. What are they, 18 bucks? Oh, gosh. So expensive, but they are really cute. All right, we've got... Mippy the Bohemian label. Mippy the label. I think it's Mippy. Phoebe dress. Okay, 17, 18 euros. Meet Phoebe, our first paper sewing pattern. Phoebe is not available by PDF. Oh, didn't realize that. Um, Phoebe is a bohemian dress inspired by the 70s. Phoebe features an elasticized ruffle sleeve, front ties, elastic waist. Phoebe can be made with three different variations, top, mini, midi, and has countless hacks and possibilities to add your own flair. Yeah, there's, oh, you will receive. Oh, interesting. A print only indie company. Wow. Okay. So 
uh, what you will need. I love that they included three to four hours of your time. I love that. Um, thread, elastic, scissors, the usual stuff. Tassels are an option. And then all of your equipment. Cotton, as in gauze, poplin, and wool. Rayon, as in twill, satin, or crepe. Silk, as in satin or crepe, or lightweight linen. YouTube tutorial. Okay. Okay, so I think we only have these few pictures here. Whoa, it's very big. All right, so that's the little elasticized cuff. Super cute. Nice big sleeve. I think it's raglan. Maybe dolman. Elasticized waist. The tassels are adorable. Um, are there any line drawings anywhere? That would be easier to see. Oh, here we go. This is the PDF version. Okay, they just have theirs as separate listings. So that becomes $10 or 10 euros, roughly $10. I would like, as always, to see a line drawing. Um, we're not going to get one for this, but I'd like to see how this is constructed. I see a seam line here. Is that where the sleeve starts? Like, is all of this one sleeve? And then this is tied up here. V-neck, if you left it untied, I guess. Also, what does the back look like? You know, that's why line drawings are so helpful. It does have a little gather up here, possibly. And then, yeah, it does look really cute. That sleeve is dreamy, dreamy little sleeve. What um sizes did it say? No, it doesn't say. Here's this, though. So size is 34 to 52. That puts us at a... I mean, I guess none of it really matters. It's so loose, but 32 to 50 ish inches in the bust, 35 to 53 in the hip. So not the most um, size inclusive, but definitely not the worst either. And that's body measurements, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's really so loose. I got to imagine there's double digits of ease throughout. And then that little elastic is what really gives you any sort of size definition at all. So just base it off of your shoulder, really. Maybe, maybe if you have a full bust, you want to double check the length here to make sure this goes up and over your bust. But other than that, yeah, you could, you could probably get away with sizing down two times. Okay, this is Itch to Stitch's newest pattern. It's the Islares, Islares top, 14 bucks. Introducing the Islares top, Islares, Islares, a versatile and stylish addition to your wardrobe crafted with comfort. Okay, all those things. Where's the details? Specifically for knit fabrics. Okay. Regular bust and full bust, squared front and back necklines, short three-quarter and long raglan sleeves, curved hem, designed for light to medium weight knit fabrics. Beginner plus, sizes 0 to 40. Yeah, and it's just stitches, a very like well-established brand. So if you've never sewn knits before or you're nervous about anything new, um, they're a really great place to start. They just have a large catalog and she does a really good job um, with her patterns. So I've made quite a few of them. But yeah, it's just a little raglan knit tee. Can't go wrong with that. I actually had a white one like this and it was like a, it was pretty thick cotton. Um, if you want to use a thicker cotton, or I guess it doesn't really even come down to the weight of the cotton. It comes down to the stretch of it. Um, if you want to use one that has a little bit less stretch, which also usually means it's thicker, um, you could just size up one and it'd be fine. Oh, and then this is the, for the full bust, you get a little dart here. But anyways, I had one that was white. I loved it. Square necklines are underrated, you guys. 
This is a bit of high of a square neckline, if I'm being honest. See how it's like almost at her, what I almost just call it a lapel. That's not it. Clavicle. Clavicles are right here. Either way, whatever this area is called. Um, it, you can even drop it down a little bit. Just make this longer and this shorter. But it's still cute as it is and comfy, I'm sure. Here is Sinclair's new pattern. It was the Onyx Wireless Athletic Bralette for 11 bucks. Very fitted medium impact athletic bralette with regular lower or deep neckline. Pull on bralette, non-adjustable straps, fully lined and reversible. Seams are stabilized with clear elastic around the neckline, armholes and back finished with a bottom band stabilized with two inch wide elastic. Yeah, you're not going anywhere in this thing. Um, back comes with full back, racer back and H back. Cup sizes, regular full bust or fuller bust, which is over six inches in difference. I love that. Because I do think that bust cups, A, B, C, D, those are a little bit confusing for sewists because they're not the same as your bra size. So this is a good way to help people understand it a little bit better. Okay, let's look at some of the pictures. Is that the regular back? Yeah, that must be the regular back. And then that's the, shoot, now I can't tell. I wish it said. Well, either way, it looks good on everybody, right? I'm assuming the, these pants that everybody's wearing too is also a Sinclair pattern. Oh, there's the H back. The H back is cute. Oh, I love they took pictures together. I wish they were different backs though, so I could see. Is are they? I can't tell. Can you guys tell? The the they're both this, right? Look at that. Full bust, right? She's definitely the fuller bust and everything is in like locked in. Same with her. Nice high rise on the arm side. Yeah. Looks really good. Okay. There's a ton of pictures. You guys can go through those. Next is Grainline Studios newest pattern. This is the Myra top and dress. Myra is sophisticated. Slip dress and top with angled seam detailing, square neckline, spaghetti straps. Dress it up or down with your fabric choice and select from three options to make Myra for any, that's perfect for any occasion. Here we go. What did it say? Three length options. My goodness, I cannot read today. So, oh, oh, a lot different than I was expecting. So you have just this front like square neckline with a little uh, bust dart, spaghetti straps that go into this like tea back situation that has this little detail. Cute. And then you just have this length and then knee length. And then I'm guessing this is like midi length and with a little slit. Okay. I hate how they, I want to flip through the pictures right here. I don't like this user interface where I have to go back over here and scroll down every time. Yeah, I was looking to see the shaping through here looks really good. I'm hoping she's not holding anything back there with her hand. That's an odd place to place your hand for a picture. Um, same woman. Still can't really see her arm, so I don't know what she's doing back here, but the fit looks good. Here's the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's really pretty. Bit of like a pencil skirt shape. Yep, 
Yeah, you know what I want to see? I want to see what, let's see what the hashtag is. I want to see this on real people. Anytime this is giving me like, I'm not sure vibes, um, I'll go to Instagram. Okay, I feel better. Her fit is pretty good. The front looks great. My only concern is how low this is on her because on here, Yeah, I guess it is a good four or five inches below the armpit. Same for her. That Does that feel like that would be weird to y'all? Um, there it is. Not on a, here it is on a person. Right? It feels like that would, uh, like my breasts would not be secured. Right? It feels like I could have a nip slip at any moment. And I get, I get them popping out completely like to the left, like directly <laughs> to the left would be weird. But I think that it would feel uncomfortable. Um, I think that the straps need to be shorter. So this whole thing comes up to like here. Yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things that, and it also is a little bit big through here too. It's one of those things where I'd have to probably try it on to see what it felt like. I, I mean, everyone seems to be having a great experience with it. Hers is definitely low though, but they seem to feel perfectly comfortable. So maybe it's just like in my head, you know, it does look fine from the side here. Like her boob isn't popping out anywhere. I just think it takes such a dramatic scoop that you're like, well, now they're starting to get higher. See how much higher this one is. But that, that's what, that's what I'm afraid of. That's what I'm afraid of. And then things will just start popping out left and right. So yeah, I think you gotta, you gotta play around with the strap length. I don't think it has anything to do with the fit here. Um, double check your dart placement though, cause that's where the bus should be. And then for her here, this is pointing at the bus. So there's still not enough room here for her. But if you make too much room, then you it's loose and you feel like you're falling out. So yeah, I get it. It's one of those styles that is simple looking, simple to sew, but the fitting of it might be a little bit challenging. Yeah, but if you get it right, it looks really good. Okay, Pattern Niche released the Wanderer romper and separates as if we don't have enough knit rompers in the world. But listen, here's another one. Um, dressed up or down, uh, closed back with keyhole neckline, romper shorts, romper capris, romper pants, dolman sleeves, sleeveless top, or enjoy them as separates, which you can do with any romper anyways. No surgery required. Okay, I mean... No surgery's ever required. You just use it to finish your seams if you want. Um, Jersey, brush poly, um, anything with 25% two-way stretch, which is, liter which is just one actually one way. Two-way stretch is just it stretching along the grain line, along the street, no, along the cross grain. Four-way stretch is when it stretches along the selvage and the cross grain. I know that's so confusing. Um, okay. That, I say, you know, I kind of like, you know, scoff a little bit like, oh, how many more of these do we need? But I'm telling you, I wear these knit wrapper things like they're going out of business, especially like on my dog walks, you know, where I need to put clothes on, you know, but... I don't want to put any thought into it for sure. And I don't want to be uncomfortable. You throw these on and you're good to go. 
this one, did it have, it said um, dolman sleeve, right? Like a grown on sleeve. The keyhole is actually really beautiful. The pants, I mean, those pants look great. Yeah, the pants look super good. Yep, my only thing about rompers and pants in general, really, is the rise. Like, you just got to get the rise right. I think for a romper, the uh, waist tie should be at your natural waist. It should be at the smallest part of you. Um, and if there's not enough length in the rise to do that, then you have to make an adjustment. Um, a romper that goes down to where your belly button is, I think is just not very flattering on anybody. But if you do it like this, and I can't tell if that's the separates or not, but um, it looks really cute. And it allows you to have the fullness on the top and the fullness on the bottom without looking like you're just swimming in fabric. Yeah, that's cute. I've got to find some good knits for another romper. Not that I'm going to buy this one, but it just inspires me to make another romper. Maybe out of something in a pattern I've already got. I'll have to see what I've got in there. A sweater romper would be great for this time of year. It's a little bit warmer than a jersey, you know? Okay, the Turner tunic pattern from George and Ginger. This is fun. Ten bucks. Uh, Turner tunic is perfect year-round pattern for unique sophistication while still staying comfortable. Featuring flattering high-low Hem style and sleeveless short or three quarter oh, sleeveless short three quarter or long sleeves. <laughs> Stunning design that's any trendy. So I love this four way. I'm sorry, <laughs> I still can't read two way or four way knit with 50% stretch. So any knit with at least 50% stretch. Okay, full bust goes up to 63 down to 28 too. I get that you, the petite girls are always wondering, you know, is the pattern going to fit me? 28 inches up to 63. That feels about size inclusive as it gets. Um, separate files for petite, regular, and tall lengths. That's great too. And remember you might be, because this is technically just a top, you might be petite in the top, but not considered petite all over. Does that make sense? If you're short-waisted, for example, maybe you make the petite length. Okay, let's take a look at a bone. What does the bonus say? Bonus what? Oh, fitting adjustments document. Okay. So it's a knit tank top, bound neckline. This one has bound sleeve, uh, arm size because the sleeve lists. And then this really cool, like high low hem with her little flare jeans. That's so fun. I might actually even make this shorter to show even more. And make that even more dramatic. Let's see some of the. Am I not gonna? Oh boy. Okay, we're only gonna get through a few of these if I can't skim through them. But yeah, see how short hers is? Love that. That looks so cool and so fun and so easy. Right? You just throw it on and you look like instantly fashionable. Oh, here's one that's really high. So she, is she doing just a French tuck? E yes. So I want to say hers is probably ending around, well, does that, that one's not tucked. So that's how long hers is. So yeah, you can do different lengths. Even if you're not technically petite, you can just do whatever length you want, I guess. Let me find another one that looks especially cute. Here's one. I love this purple color. Oh, love how they did that little French tuck there. But look at the side. Look at the drape. Beautiful. I love this. I love this. I'm making one immediately. Ten bucks? Are you kidding? Yes. Although it's probably not that hard to hack something myself. I I do like to support good ideas. <laughs> and George and Ginger, this is a good idea. This is fun. This is right up my alley with my little 70s flare I've got going lately. Okay, this is Pattern Emporium's Be Mine Balloon Sleeve Top. Also really cute. 
uh, woven fabrics, striking balloon sleeves and subtle details, sizes 4 to 30. Oh, there's a whole pattern mashing. Mix and match the sleeves on the following. That's cool. View the mashable sleeveless here. That's super cool. Okay, let's look at some pictures. So this one does feel a little bit big, right? Still with the shoulder. Let's see how it's falling off of her here. I don't think that's supposed to be happening. Let's see, does this, I can't zoom in, but this says neckline facing. Yeah, there's nothing about drop shoulders. So two and three size full bust adjustment done for you. Balloon sleeve, center front seam, gathered into binding, flared silhouette, hem facing, regular and tall cutting lengths. Okay. Cute, right? I mean, I don't know that I'm going to be doing like drapey tops anytime soon. But these are fun. I do love the sleeve a lot. I don't know, maybe I do need one for my skirts. I was only thinking about jeans, but skirts need a top too. Okay, wait, now I'm sold. I'm sold. A set? Are you kidding me? I love that. I love that. That's just like a little elastic waist short. Anybody can do those. Yeah, I bet that will be heavily in rotation if you made it. It's just simple enough. If you make it in a color that matches a lot of your wardrobe, um, you'll be reaching for it a lot. It could also be worn really easily with like a vest uh, under overalls. Yeah, a lot of options. Well, that's beautiful. For the office. Oh, she put elastic in hers. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. These always have like a gajillion pictures. So awesome. 11 bucks. Love it. This is Green Style's September pattern, the Edie Pants. Um... In sizes B to M, petite, standard, or tall, confident beginner, flowing split leg pants, designed for comfort but still fun and flirty. The pattern also includes optional undershorts for full coverage. Love that. The ED pants work great as a swim cover up. Mesh makes a great option for sure. Cool. Two waistband options. Um, okay. Lightweight knits with flow like brush poly, mesh. Breeze, circular knit. I don't know what either one of those are. Look for fabrics with at least 25% stretch for the pants and 50% stretch for the undershorts and waistband. You can't make the waistband and the pants out of the same fabric. Oh, at least. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, they're like little tulips. Okay. Let's see some of these made up. Okay. Really? No zoom. Oh, here we go. And we can shuffle through them. Okay, great. Oh, the waistband is wide. And they're low rise. I wasn't expecting either one of those things. Is that what the line drawing said? Hold on. It doesn't really say. I wish they said what the intention was. If you're not going to show the line drawing on a body, like on a croquis, I do wish. Because look at these. These are a lot different than the ones we just looked at. But I do love the undershort. That's really cool. I like the big waistband when it's at the natural waist. I wonder too if these are unhemmed. I'm thinking yes, they are. 
So for all those like just those remember whenever we were all buying the rayon jerseys because it feels so good and then we made one thing out of them that was hard to sew with and we were like forget this stuff <laughs> like I'm never using this again and now we've all got a bunch of rayon jersey in our stashes um, this would be great for that because you don't have to hem it Oh, the matching is cute. Oh, here's interesting. You can see because she color blocked it kind of where all the seams go. All right. Oh, wait, maybe there was what was oh, OK. What was photo number 25 now that I got almost to the end and not all the way. Let me just see what that last picture was. Oh, just the line drawn go figure. OK, yeah, I think they're really cool. I think that if the tulip thing, this little thing is not for you, you could easily just straighten these out and you still have a split hem, but it won't be as dramatic. Um, but yeah, I do think wearing them at the natural waist, this is going to suck in all your tummy problems, <laughs> make all of that just disappear. Um, I love the shorts underneath with, I mean, the little pocket too. You can put your phone in there or whatever. Another great like just throw on and go option and you still look cute and pulled together. Yeah, okay. That one probably takes some imagination for some of you, but um, I can see it. This is Caledonia Dreamin, the Kaolin blouse, blouse bohem. K, oh, it's all in French, hold on. No, how do I find the English? No. <laughs> Oh man, hold on, let's see if it's in the search. No. I wonder if that means that, um, this is English. Oh, um, French, French sewing patterns. Oh, she does knitting patterns too. Okay, Kaolin. Ah, uh, here we go. Comfortable bohemian blouse with aesthetic details such as tucks and gathers. You will need a lightweight woven fabric such as cotton poplin, viscose, Swiss dot, linen, double gauze, rayon blend, linen blend. It is very important that your fabric is thin. Otherwise, you will encounter some difficulties. For some of the pattern instructions, a plain fabric will emphasize the beautiful details of the blouse. Okay, I think this is a little bit of like bad Google translation, but... Um, basically a thinner fabric is better probably for the pin tucks and sewing over all those layers. And she's also suggesting a solid fabric over a, a print one, like with floral or geometric or whatever, so that you can see the details of the pin tucks better. Okay. And it's 10 euros. So, okay, cute. You've got a little yoke that extends to the shoulder. It's technically a sewn in sleeve, a little um, gather here, there's gathers here, and then you have these pen tucks all into a little, I guess, bias bound hem. Stand collar, little tie, gathers here and in the back, and then just like a little straight blouse. That's really pretty. You could even chop it off here, right? And have a little cap sleeve. Just as another option. Yeah, that looks very like just off the rack at Banana Republic or Nordstrom or wherever. Very ready to wear friendly. How about a dress version? A dress version would be super cute. Can't go wrong with like a shift dress. Let's see. This is where we usually go awry with French sewing patterns, right? Um, 32 to 46, which is a US 10, I mean, sorry, zero to 14, which is a hip of 45 and three quarters. That's not a lot. That's not a lot at all. Like I barely fit into this and I'm like midsize. So boo to that. 
Next, we have the Patterns for Pirates half zip um, sweater, sweatshirt. Uh, the perfect pullover. Loose, relaxed fit, and dolman sleeve making fitting simple and easy. The loose fit is super comfortable. Choose between collar, hood, crop, shirt, sleeves options. And more. You can create a whole stack of these and all have a different look. So, two lengths. Crop length and shirt length. Two necklines, a collar and a hood. Two sleeve options, solid sleeves or color block sleeves. A Kanga pocket, which is also, what are they else? What else? Kangaroo pocket, yeah. Um, zipper guard, which I love. That's a nice detail. Finishing methods include unfinished seams, binding seams, and then the hood and the collar are lined. I like that it tells you that. Medium weight stable knits. Stable knits mean they are not very stretchy. The cuffs and the bottom band need some stretch. Other pieces are okay with only mechanical stretch. Like sweatshirt knit, French terry, double knits, quilted knits. Lots and lots of options. Okay. So matching patterns are the youth version, the V figure version where you're full busted and have a narrow waist and then a bundle with both adult and youth. Okay. Extra, extra small, up to 5X. Yep, they always do a great job um, in size inclusivity, Patterns for Pirates. Look how great that looks. That must be the cropped version. That's a little bit lighter weight of a fabric. So it's giving me more of a t-shirt vibe. That's more athletic. And now that we're into sweater season, let me talk about this. If this is happening to you on your serger, your differential feed needs to be adjusted. It, the differential feed is like the feed dogs that pull the fabric through the machine. There's actually two sets on a serger and they need to be like loosened, which means making the number higher. There's a little knob on the side of your machine usually or the front. Um, when I'm doing knits and I'm getting this kind of result, I'm pinging it up to like two, maybe even higher. Um, and it'll just do some test runs. And if it's still giving that wavy thing, just keep knocking it up, knocking it up and it'll smooth out eventually. But like the rate at which the front feed dogs pull the fabric through versus the back feed dogs, that's what the differential feed is. See how hers look really good. She probably messed around with that. I love the color blocking too on that one. Really cute. More color blocking, more cropped. Yep, yep, yep. Is that the shirt length? I kind of also really love the shirt length. So I was watching a TikTok the other day and they were talking about full size girls, mid size girls. How come when we wear quote unquote oversized sweatshirts or hoodies or whatever, they don't look flattering on us. But when our skinny friends wear them, the skinny girls don't look any bigger. They still look really cute and like they have their cute little figure still. And she was saying it had something to do with the fact that if there is no gap between the hem of your sweatshirt and your thigh, it looks not best. If there's like a little itty bitty gap where the whole thing is just like floating around your body, it gives the illusion that your body is smaller underneath. And she did a comparison and I kid you not, homegirl lost 15 pounds just by putting a little bit of a gap here. <laughs> that makes more sense. So it's in, it's encouraging me to try longer things. I do want a longer pullover to wear with like bike shorts and stuff. Um, but I've always been like, no, those look terrible on me. They just cling to me and I look bigger than I am and it doesn't feel comfortable. So she said to try putting a little bit of a gap. So I'm going to do that. Here's another differential feed issue. She didn't get it too bad using the same fabric. So when she used her stretchy fabric, it got a little bit funky. But this style here, I keep going back and forth. I'm sorry. This style here with like the ripped jeans and the sneakers, I would live in this. Oh, there's the hood. Yeah, so you can see it's got a little hole for your head. I love that too. Sometimes the hoods are like the opening is so big, it just flows, flies right off whenever you walk outside. Cute. 
There's another lighter weight fabric one. Okay, you guys get the idea, right? I think we're back to the beginning anyways. Okay, cool. Love that. Love that. We have been seeing a lot of these come out lately in indie patterns. Uh, Big Four came out with one last fall, I think. Um, it was a unisex one, maybe? Um, so I'm glad to see some of that, like, uh, Fabletics type of stuff making its way to the sewing pattern world. Okay, this is Pattern for Pirates' um, newest collection. It's called Slow Down. It's a dress and a swimsuit collection. <laughs> um, so there's a couple patterns in here. The Alto is designed with timelessness. Did these get cheaper? Um, and timelessness in mind. A versatile piece. It can be made as a top or maxi dress with side seam pockets. Center front and back seams, square neckline, or beautiful twist neck detail. Whether you choose the classic straight across back or the gorgeous low back with the optional tie, this dress is perfect for any occasion. Okay. And um, paper cut, I believe, is Australian, New Zealand. Maybe it's a New Zealand company. So they are going into their summer. So before you're like, what am I going to do with a bathing suit in October? They're, they're opposite. Okay. There are people in the world, believe it or not, <laughs> that have a different, um, different seasons than us. I do love this dress with the low back. I think halter tops are pretty much universally flattering. Um, can I make this bigger and scroll through? Yes. I mean, that's just stunning. That is just absolutely stunning. Where's the, there was one with a tie, right? She said. Beautiful. Arm side might be a little, like just a little bit low, but that could also be from the straps because this also feels a little bit low on her too. Not, not bad in any way. I probably wouldn't even notice it if I saw her on the street, but okay, there's the closed in back. Equally beautiful. Here's a top. The top feels really wide. That's a low back with the tie though. That's super cute. All right, we'll be getting this one. We'll be getting this one for sure, for sure. This is totally my style, right? Don't you guys agree? Can't you see me wearing this? Oh, look, naturally, here's one for all of us Americans. Yeah, you can make it in a denim and throw a, a turtleneck under it and you're good to go. Okay, that's the end. I love this. I love this. Okay, now let's see her sister friend. The swim... Okay, then it's available in plus sizes as well. This is the Kaya swimsuit. Perfect addition to your summer wardrobe. Choose between a one-piece or two-piece with either a short or long line top, built-in shelf bra, beautiful twist neck detail, variety of waist heights and cuts you can choose the perfect fit for your body oh yeah so the one piece this is the short line is that what she called it short top high-waisted right or long line and this has the little low-waisted yeah I think that's a really good shape for the bum sometimes I see these let me see if they did the high-waisted one yeah, this is the high-waisted one. And when you get to the back, it's just like diaper central. This one's better. I think when you do high-waisted and you've got a lot of coverage up here, you kind of have to have less coverage down here, okay? Otherwise, if you're coming down too low, it, it literally is the shape of a diaper. But no reason why this couldn't also be like a crop top that you wear like out. The long line one, you know? Oh, and these are really pretty. I love that little scoop detail. You could straighten that out if you don't want all that showing. You could definitely straighten that out, but then you would just have the high-waisted version. <laughs> so never mind. <laughs> yeah, pretty. Feminine. That looks really good. Okay. What are they charging? $12 for the swimsuit. Okay. All right. Good job on paper cut. Um, I think that's it, right? Let me see. 
There's the Kirby swim. Oh, wait, JK. There's the Marnie swimsuit in curve and straight as well. So designed to create a sleek, sophisticated silhouette, no matter how you choose to style it. Classic one piece or bikini with shorter long line top. Cut a square neckline, a high or low scoop back. Optional shoulder and waist ties. Okay, so your this is even like a bodysuit, right? Like you can wear this and put jeans over it. Um, square neckline is stunning. Low back or high back. This is the long line, high back, low back. Wait, that's the front. With a little tie here, low back, ties at the, at the shoulders, and two different brief bikinis also. So yeah, this one has even more options. Let's see. Yeah, pretty. Yeah, that's, that's, that's very low. There's the straps that tie at the top and like the shorter of the bikini options. The low back is stunning. How cute would a little um, bodysuit be out of a rib knit? You wouldn't even, you don't have to make swimwear swimwear. You could make it actual clothes if you want. That's the high rise with the twist or the little tie at the front. Yep. Yep. Oh, they didn't take a picture of this one. Huh. Okay. Well, I would just make sure that that is included. But other than that, I love this one for, for regular clothes as well as swim. Okay. That's it though. Those are all the ones I found in September. Let me know what you guys think of where we are with these indie patterns. Which one of these did you like? Which one are you gonna add to your cart? Um, I have a list of them in the description box below. I have a list with direct links in my Patreon. So you can join us over there and make it easier for yourself. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of these and if you'll be grabbing any of them yourself. I'll be back very soon with October's um, new patterns. I'm just waiting for the last few days of the month to round out here, make sure I capture them all, and then I'll be back. But that's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye!